Hey, welcome back everybody. Well, here we're working on a scrambler, Polaris scrambler 500, which just goes for any Polaris 500 head. Now the problem with this one is it's got bent valves. I don't know if you can see this here, but you can see the gap. If you look down in here, you see daylight. So these two valves, and I popped those off there, are no good. Uh, you can kind of, here's one way you can do it. Let me show you here. If you can look at it, see how it wobbles when you turn it? Right there, it tells you it's bent. Which I already knew that, but this shows you there. Alright, so these two are trash. So, what we have to do is put some new valves in. And that's what we have in here. And uh, so, we gotta put some new valves in here. We got my stuff, I guess I should've got my act together before. Now I ordered these, and I wasn't sure, I'm still not sure, which valves are bad too. I know these two are bad, the main ones, the intakes are. I'm not sure on the exhaust, these, but I got them anyway because if I don't use them now, I'll probably use them later. So what we have to do is since we got these and you could just, just put them in there, which is not the smartest thing to do. It would probably work fine, but what you need to do is lap them in. So we're gonna let me get some oil here. Put some oil on these. Always like to put a little oil on them. Because I put new valve seals in this sometime before when I had it apart. Okay, now it's pushing through the other side. I need to raise it up the hair. figure out something here. I'll bring you back on when I get her going here. All right, well, here we go. This is valve lapping grooving compound. Now, this I got here is water-based. They got a oil-based. I don't know if there's anything bigger than one or the other or not. It, I don't know for sure. Um, you can see it in there. It's valve lapping. So, really, I take what's off the top here. Uh, there's only plenty there. Could use a little water, but now I got some on here, but I do need to pull a little bit off the top. Set that down in there. And then you got this here, which has got suction cups on it. Get a, a little moisture on it. Put a little water on it. Tighten it up. Go to doing that. Pull it up. Go again. And what it does is help lap that in there so it's a nice tighter fit. It is a brand new valve, but you best to just slap it in there a little bit. Make sure it's a good seal. Push some more of this stuff underneath there if you need to. Can you hear that? Put it in there. So you just want to lap it in there, get a so it's good and tight. And then what you do is you clean this off. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see, see they kind of put a groove in there. Let me pull the other one out. You can kind of see the difference. See the difference there? You don't see it there, but you see it on this one? That tells you how nice and tight that it's, it's fitting in there. By the way that groove is, you can kind of see the difference. This one you can see the groove in. 
That means it's sealing good all the way around it. And uh, that should be just fine. Jump down here when we get out. So that's, that's good. That's a good seal. So that'll be ready to go. We'll just do a little bit on this one. Could use a little water on that. Might help it stay on there a little better. There we are lapping those in there. You can hear it kind of. What makes this a good seal? Cleans off the other if there's any junk composites on the seat itself. Because, you know, the, the valve is brand new, so you know it's good. But it kind of marries it together. So now I'm going to clean it all up, get all the grime off of it, clean it, and then uh, I'll show you how I put this all back together. I'll, I'll bring it back on. No sense seeing me clean it, everything up. And I'll bring it back on. Alright, here we are. You can see how I got this set on this side. This is holding the other side. And what you do is you crank it down. I showed this on another video too. So this might be old news to some of you. You know it's, you've seen it before. And then you got to put these and um, put these right on here. Now what I generally try to do is I use some grease You get a little bit of grease put it on the inside of here and also put a little bit on the outside Grab my little screwdriver there. Got a nice flat surface area. And this is tapered. I don't know if you can see that. But it's tapered. So the taper end goes in. So I gotta get some more. The grease on the inside kind of helps stick it to it so it don't move on you. Get some more grease here. Just regular old gun grease will work. Let's get that up in there. Okay. Now, if you look at it, you can see the center of it. You want to try to release it there. Keep that from moving. Release it right there so it's in the center so it don't push none of your your little uh, keepers up. But there it is. And you just let it up easy and hold it in. Now you can go on to the next one. Put Again, 
get some more grease. Because you need grease on the inside, or something you can use, you can try to, if you can get it, get it on the, here, get it on this spot here, on the valve itself. I like the can almost, because sometimes it just does, does not want to catch. There we go. And there, oh, went right on, good deal. Grease nice, stuck good. Make sure the taper is in side. The taper end is facing toward the valve. So that's what helps hold on there. Put that one in there like that. And like I said, you gotta release this, but you can, if you can see the hole where it's going, you gotta kinda center it up because it don't wanna be exactly centered sometimes. And, and if you kinda get it off, if you get it off, it will sometimes push those keepers off if it's a little off. But once you get a slide in there, then you unscrew it. There it is. There it is. All done. Now what I gotta check is are these bad? Did these two get hit with it? Now the way to check that is to grab some BB blaster or some WD-40. What I'm going to do is, what I have to do is I got to pull this off first. I should have had that already off. Pull this off so I can see what I'm doing in there. There we go. Now I need my impact. Might not do it. There we go. Good. I like that. Nice one. Can go right, right. Okay. Let's pull this off. And then, I'm going to squirt down in there. BB blaster. Now, now I'm looking. You see anything? Let's go up. Whoops, see, go, come out there. Nothing is coming out. That's a good sign. Dump the rest of it out. That means, let's go back down here. That means these did not get bent. That's a sure way to tell you right there. If it got bent or not. Alright. Well, great. Now, we're done there. Let's go ahead and put this back on. Our exhaust. And we're done. Now, I have to install it on the four-wheeler. And, uh... I might bring you along for that. But that's one way to replace valves that got bent. And timing was off and, and it got bent. So, All right, hey, if this is the end, uh, push the like button uh, if you like it. If not, comment on it or comment and see what you like. And um, I'll have some more videos coming. Like I always say, every day up, white and walking, it's a good day. Take care, everybody.